at Jay's very scientific hacksaw method here on the edge of the drain. So please tell everyone what you're doing. Making meth. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like it. Yep. Um, we are using kitty litter, mm -hmm. potassium carbonate, mm -hmm. potassium nitrate, sorry, sorry potassium nitrate, mm -hmm. and sugar to make a rocket. Right. Uh, this is the rocket body. <laughs> As you can see, it has a beer cap on the on the top for maximum. How do you say? Air tightness. Uh huh. And we're gonna launch it into the sky. Mm -hmm. This thing's flammable, so I'm being careful. Show them the math that we did. Yeah, we. <laughs> Uh, scientific of calculations to determine how much rocket fuel we need. <laughs> Extensive being one fraction and one multiplication. <laughs> yeah. Rocket science is not hard, guys. Uh, Never. Yeah, it's just basic maths. Yeah, so we have 50 grams of potassium nitrate and 27 grams of powdered well, sugar. No, 33 grams. Oh, sorry. Because the density of sugar is apparently different to the density of water. Which Please is what tell me we have the kitchen right. measuring <laughs> grams, We worked out that's 33 milliliters. Yes, because we were sugar. measuring it using milliliters because we don't mm -hmm. have equipment. <laughs> yeah. Backyard rocket scientists. Mm -hmm. I would just like to state I'm very scared. Um. <laughs> this is a little bit of explosion. What's going to do? <laughs> using the very scientific method of using our calculations <laughs> as a funnel. <laughs> Um, the first trial run was a flop. <laughs> <laughs> we scrubbed for five minutes. <laughs> we had an ignition problem where our fuse made of toilet, what? Tissue paper. <laughs> Tissue paper. Didn't light. Did so not light. I'm going to try to stick a match now in the bottom of the rocket and see if that works. Right. I think we should put this end in there yeah. and then light the bottom, bottom of the match. The match so when it gets to the end, it will be a nice <laughs> ign ignition. Take. Take, take five, I believe. For such an explosive mix. Okay, what's changed, Mitch? <laughs> what's changed? So we put on another bottle top onto the bottom of our rocket, and we have uh, like adjusted the powder, and we're gonna try light this bad boy now. Yeah, we've drilled a hole in the bottom of this bottle cup. We have very scientifically drilled a hole. <laughs> yep. Let's see if this works. Now it's going. Yes! Come on! We've got a static fire. <laughs> Launch! Launch! I think it used it all there. Looks like I it. think so, yeah. Whoa, Whoa, it burnt a hole in the bottom of the plastic. <laughs> that was really hot. That's also why, that's why it didn't go up because the, the nozzle size was too big. So yeah, exactly. So no, no thrust. It was spread over too wide a surface area. Yeah, we need a small nozzle to create pressure. Do you think the metal won't burn through the bottle cap though? We, should... we are now at the launch pad <laughs> with our second rocket. <laughs> Updated configurations include a press stick top and a hole in the bottom for our combustion chamber. Let's light this baby. Mm. Version 2 was not as successful as we had hoped. Mitch is now bringing a match head so we can put that in the hole and hopefully that will ignite the rocket fuel. Technical difficulties, man. What can we say? It's rocket science. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop. It sounds like a rocket. Sounds like a rocket indeed. Just not enough thrust. Come on, man. Thrust. Thrust. Uh, so that concludes rocket testing for today. The what day is it today? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That concludes rocket testing for today. End conclusion is that rockets are a lot harder than they look. <laughs>